today we are going to go over Postman Collections. Collections are an organizational tool you can use to put together your requests into groups. You can do this either for personal use or to share with teams or generally with the public. Before you created a collection, it's highly recommended that you have an account with Postman because otherwise you will have difficulty updating your collections after your session or sharing with people after your session is over. So on the left side here is the navigation bar where you will see all the collections listed. These are in alphabetical order and you can change them to be sorted by date if you like. There are three ways to create a collection. The first is to hit this icon and then you enter a name, a description, and you hit create. And there you can see right here is your first new collection. This collection has zero requests as listed. Now, I am going to look up the Wikipedia API for articles on the country of India. I can add this to a collection right here. As you see here is test collection one and I will add it. I could also have add, created a new collection to which this request was going to be added. I'm going to call this Wikipedia India articles, change the description, hit add to collection. Now you see here, my test collection has one request. As you can see here, this is the response that's saved with this request. You've already seen the alternative way to create a collection by going here. The third way to create a collection is by importing one. You can upload the collection file, or you can paste the raw text directly here. And then the third way is to download from a link. Given the number of Postman collections that are now shared, this is an often used path for many people. I'm going to go and get the link for a collection that I've been meaning to save. Copy paste it here, import, bam, it worked. As you can see, I have Postman demo server here right now. Now that you've seen the three ways to create a collection in Postman, let's look at the functionality within a collection. A collection can have multiple folders. Here you see app and debug. Adding a folder is very simple. Hit add folder. You can enter a name and description just like you did when you were creating a collection. Hit create and see you have a new folder right here. These are organized alphabetically and you can't move them around. What you can do though is easily move requests between folders or even between collections. For example, I take header and I can move it to app. I could also have moved a request to a different collection as I just did. Now, once a collection is created, it is not set in stone. You can actually edit it at any time. Here you can see me editing the Postman demo server. Hit save and it's all done. Now let's look into all these options here. We already know how to edit and add folders. Duplicating is straightforward. So is downloading. Downloading will save the collection file into your machine locally. And enabling sync will help you keep everything up to date across devices. You can also delete a collection, very straightforward. A very important aspect of collections is the collections browser. This is the collections browser. We will go into it more in detail in a separate video because it's just that awesome. But for now, just know that this is the best way to consume and work with an API without having to leave your REST client Postman. Once you have uploaded a collection to Postman, you can actually share it with a link. So we hit share, upload and get link. And here's your link, which you will use to share with anybody. When other people get this link, they can simply import the collection like we learned earlier. If you were a part of a team and you were sharing a collection, you would see info about your team here and you would have an option to automatically share this collection with your entire team right away. So that's collections for you. If you have more questions, you can go to our do documentation and submit a GitHub issue if you don't find what you're looking for over there. Hopefully you can start using them right away to boost your productivity. Thanks very much.